This video was sponsored by oddbeachexpress.com. Oddbeach Express Stock Media by subscription is a new site that offers high quality broadcast resolution stock media content. Their content includes stock footages up to 5K resolution, music, sound effects, images, and After Effects templates. Sign up today for a free account at oddbeachexpress.com and receive 19 free pre selected stock media downloads. No credit cards, payments, or obligations required. Create your free account today. Hello everyone and welcome to my After Effects tutorial. In this episode, I'm going to show you something simple but very very useful uh, that you can create an After Effects for your documentaries or for your short films or something like that. So normally awesome people, when you're trying to create say a documentary about hacking or password leaks or something like that uh, you know you're trying to shoot the screen of a computer and right and, and you want a very simple b-roll shot where somebody is typing in the password sheet of Facebook okay now if you're trying to shoot this uh, you know there's a good chance that a lot of people especially beginners won't be able to get the perfect shot because the screen you know has some anomalies the screen is dirty or you you, you just don't have the you know the right equipment for shooting say if you're you know making the full movie on an iPhone or something so at that time you can replace that b-roll with a graphic shot like the one that you see right now on the screen and that is exactly why I'm doing this tutorial so I hope you guys enjoy I hope you guys learn something today and I think it's I think this is a good video for anyone who is uh, you know into film making and movie making and if you're a director uh, you know a little bit of simple after effects will help you a lot so I hope you enjoy and with that being said Let's get to it. I'm gonna create. Um, I'm gonna firstly just put all of this into one folder and call this done. All right. I'm gonna create a new composition. I'm gonna keep the 720p, but you can go for full HD or 4K if you want. I'm gonna call this main, and I'm gonna keep this say seven seconds long. Okay. Superb. Next awesome people. The one thing that you have to remember is that when you're creating graphic shots, they have to be very, very editable, right? It, it, it shouldn't be done in a very messy way that if you need to change something now, you have to do 10 different things to change one simple thing, right? And that is what I'm going to show you. So we're going to take the shape tool and I'm going to draw in a shape like this, right? And we'll try to recreate the scene that I had made, uh, you know, in the preview. Right, so we, we, we basically need a blue screen, uh, a, a white box, another blue box, and three, four textures. It's, it's gonna be a very simple thing. Uh, so we have a shape layer, let's just call this blue box, right? And I'm gonna go to fill, add in a fill. Out of fill, I'm gonna change its color to a nice blue, like that, right? And I'm gonna change the stroke to zero. Superb. Next, awesome people, this, this is gonna serve as our uh, main blue, you know. Uh, holder you know if, if you will then I think I'm, the, the blue is a little bit off I'm gonna change it to a yeah that that's a lot better nice awesome people I'm gonna take the hit the Q key one more time we need a shape layer for creating that white box the password box right there or a fill I'm gonna make this white right I'm, I'm using the the free script um, you know move to anchor point to to move every anchor points to its center so password uh, box Right. Here is my free script. Click on the center and the anchor point is going to jump. Superb. Next awesome people, we need the type tool. I'm going to say password. Then I'm going to scale this down. Like so. And I'm working with a font called Roboto. It's a free font. And in my opinion, it is one of the best fonts out there. And I'm going to put it right there. And I'm going to adjust the kerning of the full alphabet actually. So just put the word like this, password. Then we, we need one more box. So instead of recreating the box, we'll just duplicate this. Push it over here. This way we don't have to you know, worry about the position. I'm gonna scale this out like this, right? And I'm gonna change the blue, take it from here. And then I'm just gonna change it like so. Right, I'm gonna make it a little bit lighter or something. There you go. Next awesome people, I'm going to, uh, you know, du duplicate my text. I'm going to call this login. I'm going to make this a little bit fat. Uh, like this. Remove the fox bold. Bring it in right there. Maybe squish the box if you would like. Super. This looks good to me. Mm. And then I can adjust the kerning 
like this right I'm, I'm using the alt and the different uh you know arrow keys for adjusting the kerning so right is gonna create more space left is gonna remove the space like this all right superb i'm gonna bring it in the center one more time just to you know if, if i was to scale something it's gonna happen from the center uh next we i'm gonna duplicate this one more time and i'm gonna call this forgot your password bro forgot your password Right, I'm gonna make this very very small because this is right, you know, something like that. Push it right there. I'm gonna reduce its opacity because this is something like that. Right. There you go. That looks like a nice UI. And uh, now we need the password itself. So I'm gonna take the text tool, and I'm just gonna type in bullet or actually the period key a couple of times, like that. Change its color to black. Right. Uh, adjust its kerning, scale it down, and make it to light. Right, superb. Oops. Yeah. Select this, bring it in the center, and I'm gonna reduce its size again. And maybe I'll even change the font because, the, in in my opinion, the, the, these are not perfect uh, circles. I'm gonna change it to Mont Serrat. There you go. There you go, that is perfect. Super. Um, next, I'm gonna bring it right there. And I'm gonna increase it there. Move anchor point, bring it to the center, and bring this guy now right there. Just the kerning and that awesome people looks spot on perfect to me so a simple ui made in after effects and this can replace your b-roll shot right so now we just need to create that type on effect very very easy and those of you who have been watching my tutorials already know this uh, we'll add uh, opacity to this right uh, reduce it to zero go to range selector and we'll animate the start move ahead in time to about say one second or let's say two seconds right, so if we play this now this uh, this kind of effect actually looks very nice and it could work perfectly in your documentary and stuff right but say if you want a proper typewriter kind of effect so go to advanced and then reduce the reduce the reduce the, the smoothness down to zero and this way you'll get that proper tuck 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 effect right super now awesome people I'm gonna pre comp everything I'm gonna make this into screen done. Okay, close this. So if we play this from the start, right? Perfect. Uh, let's actually go inside this and let's just push this layer a little bit ahead in time. So this way, we're getting a little bit of a static screen at the center, right? Then the after after 30 frames, the animation starts, right? And maybe you can adjust the spacing between this a bit. Right, there you go that is superb uh, next I'm gonna make this into a 3d layer I'm gonna create a camera and everything is blurry because my depth of field is on so hit the a two times on the camera and switch this depth of field to off if it's off by default then superb create a new null object I get 3d I'm gonna call this camera controller and now awesome people create one more uh, uh, null object and we'll call this camera dolly right now the now the main reason why i created two null objects is so that i'm gonna attach my camera to my camera controller and then i'm gonna attach camera controller to camera dolly what's gonna happen is i'm gonna use a camera controller for setting up the shots so i'm gonna rotate this you know zoom into this whole shot and just see how things work out right something like this and now if i need to animate this I'm gonna use the camera dolly option. So I'm gonna do this, move ahead in time, and then animate this like that. All right? Maybe I'll have to zoom in a bit. So, so this way, awesome people, the position of camera dolly is the thing that's animating, and the camera controller position is just gonna see to it that you're getting the proper shot. All right? So this way, 
we're having that nice subtle movement you know nothing too drastic but uh, works very nice with us so if you play this right it, it it's a little more than subtle so I'm gonna push this up a little bit like this if you play this superb right I think it's a little fast for any shot slow it down a bit and okay so that is something that's better so uh, now awesome people you can add uh, depth of field effect so you can go to the camera press the A key two times switch this on and now you can adjust the focus distance to where you like so god knows who the hell increased it so much I change it to 2500 and what we'll do is we will increase the aperture a lot so this way we're going to get a very nice depth of field effect where password is being blocked and stuff like that right so you can see the password is in focus lock and is a little out of focus and then you know you can maybe even animate this so it's just going to be like blurred and then comes in focus right but, but i'm not going to go there um next awesome people i'm going to pre-compose all of this and i'm going to call this um animation done right and now i'm going to use an effect called grid right, you can apply grid over here and you can change the blend mode to add if you want this is a little bit of a different kind of an effect and you necessarily and you don't necessarily have to use it so this is basically how you set up a very simple cg shot for your documentaries and stuff which would uh, you know otherwise be a little difficult to shoot in in real life right so it can be for a commercial it can be for an ad or something like that and it has many many uses so i hope you guys enjoyed i hope you guys understood how to work with this for creating simple graphics for your movies uh, my name is ej style thank you so much for joining me on this simple tutorial and i will see you all next time take care everyone